hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Caitlin from Caitlin Plans and today I'm going to be making my January 2023 monthly. Last time I filmed a monthly video I made the mistake in the beginning of saying I was going to fill it out. I didn't fill it out in that video and I don't think I'm going to fill it out today. So I'm just going to decorate today. It ended up becoming a lot more work to like fill it out because half of the month wasn't decided yet and as it currently stands I only have my work schedule through the end of this week so I don't necessarily know what's going on like work-wise in the second half so I don't want to like fill it out and just like take guesses at everything because I know I'm going to be wrong. So January of 2023 I want to use some stickers from my shop. I want to combine this Whimsical Forest sheet, which was from my December release. So I printed out two of them because I figured maybe I would want like two different sheets of those on paper. This one's only available on paper. And then I printed out the Winter Quotes to go along with it on clear. You can get this one on paper or on clear. They're both on my Etsy shop and I'll link them down below in case you're interested in purchasing either of these. But the color palette is the same and the color palette between these is the same as like the winter wear one and the florals and the washi strips, whatever. So everything kind of matches, which is nice because I can kind of correspond like sheets together. But I'm going to use these two today to make my January monthly. It's so weird saying January at this point because I'm like, oh, it's still December, but it's not. Um, and then I also have these like little washi bullet points that my brother got me as a gift. I have a few different variations in the color, but I like the blues with the, the forest. And I thought maybe I could do like little confetti dots with them. Definitely going to use these to like mark out work shifts. So I don't know if it would get too confusing to use them as like confetti dots, but I have them here off to the side so that I can use them for like work shifts. I'm going to go ahead and pop this off the disc so we will get started. So last time I filmed the monthly, I started with the decorative and this time I think I want to start with the boxes just so that I know where things are falling, especially because there's not like open boxes up here at the top of the spread. There are some down here at the bottom that I can like definitely play around with and I think I'm going to like that more, especially because I'm planning with trees. I'm going to want them like kind of standing on the ground rather than like up here in the top. But I grabbed the Whimsy Lux A Year of Planning book and a lot of my sheets have kind of started to fall out of this because I've been using it for a year now, but these ones, which match the January stickers, which this is what I've got left of the January stickers from this book, I feel like that matches pretty close with the color palette of the trees. I did end up getting the volume two of A Year of Planning, and it is super cute. It's not the same stickers because I was like, oh, maybe I could grab the this like sheet out of this one. So it's not the same color palette either. January is this like pink tone in this one and I got it after New Year's so I didn't use it for New Year's but these are not the, the same colors obviously so I'm not going to be using that. But the thing I like about this one is this year all of the decorative stickers are printed on paper. It was a little bit of a pain last year to like have to deal with like all of them being clear stickers when I wanted to like layer stuff or put them on over like lines or have quotes or whatever. So it's nice that she made the adjustment to transfer them onto paper. So I grabbed this one. It's just a super fun, easy book to use. And it has a lot of nice corresponding colors um, in the boxes. All right. So let's see. I have a dentist appointment and I have a friend who is doing a performance on Wednesday night. So I'm going to grab two boxes for that. I'm also going out to lunch with my sister, but I think that's a little less like of a scheduled thing than these two. And I'm not gonna have enough room to put more than two boxes here into the space. So we're gonna fill out Wednesday that way. And I'm just gonna show you how well these boxes match with like the trees, like the green tones, the blue tones. I really love that like mix and match of the two. So that's Wednesday. And then my boyfriend and I are going to a hockey game on Friday. So I'm going to take a box for that. I know I'm not working, so I don't need to like leave room at the bottom of the box for a work shift. But when I get past this week, I'm going to need to start leaving room at the bottom of the boxes so that I can like mark when I'm working. And I'll show you how I typically do that. I'm not really sure what color I want to use. They're a little weird to get off the roll, but they do a good job because they're just like bullet point stickers. I think this is like a good color because I'm not going to use this in my regular planner because it's going to be a little hard to like put check marks on them but it matches really well with like the dark dark navy so I'll show you how I'm doing like work shifts 
got one on Sunday and then I need to remember which color I used off of the roll. I'm like, okay, furthest out on this side. And then I've got Monday, which is today. I'm planning a little bit later than I maybe should plan a monthly, but I was hoping that I would get more work schedule posted before I made this, and that was not the case. Um, so I've got Monday, Thursday, and then Saturday. And then we're supposed to be doing inventory on Sunday, which is like very important, but they haven't sent out a schedule. So yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. So I'm going to place one on Sunday because I, I just know that's going to end up being like a day that I am booked. So that's what I've got like work schedule wise. For this one, I kind of bumped it upward because New Year's Day was down at the bottom. And I have some really cute Create With Mandy holiday stickers that I might want to use in this planner. I just got to decide because they're not going to like all like not all of the holidays are going to be on the sheet like National Sticker Day. I don't think it's going to be on the sheet. And if I have all of these like New Year's Day and MLK Day, she probably doesn't have Lunar New Year on there either. If we have two that are the fancy lettering and two that are just the planner lettering, I don't know if I want to do that. So maybe I'll save the Create with Mandy like holiday stickers for my daily or something like that because the daily doesn't have the holidays marked on the monthlies i don't know why i thought it came with that but it doesn't but yeah it does have new year's day and mlk day but there's no national sticker on no national sticker day on here because you know that's like more of a like a very specialized holiday so i really like these probably gonna save them for my other planner or I could save them for a month where I, like, can cover up every single, like, holiday that's already on there. Speaking of National Sticker Day, that's also going to be the date of my January release. So it's going to be a lot of, like, Valentine's stickers, but also some more state flowers and stuff like that. And I'm putting the box in a way that I can put a bullet point underneath it if I end up having to work on that day. I'm going to try to schedule that day off because of, like, the sticker release. And I probably should have done that a little bit further in a in advance, but I don't have a schedule for next week, so I don't know. I could probably still book it off. Um, and then I have another hockey game date night on the 28th. So I'll place a sticker for that. And I think that's kind of all I've got so far. Oh, I have a podcast recording on Tuesday. I'll use a smaller box for that because I can just write podcast and then at whatever time. So let's do that. So as far as commitments go, very empty on that front. Hopefully as the month goes on, I'll be able to like add in these boxes and I'll probably, because the sheet is just loose from the sticker book, I'm just gonna keep this like in between the pages of my planner. That way if I'm on the go and I'm like, oh, something got added, I can stick a box in like right away. And if I'm in a position like where I'm out and about and I have my planner, but I don't have the stickers, sometimes I'll just write it directly on the page. And then when I come home, I'll just white it out, cover it in a sticker and write the same thing on it to make it look cohesive. Um, just so I don't like forget what's going on. But this sheet is very easy just to like put in between the pages of this planner, especially because it is a letter sized planner. So most everything fits like sandwiched in between the pages if this were like a seven by nine or an a5 this would be sticking out the sides and that's not what i would want so now that i have all the excitement of my life on the pages i'm gonna go ahead and decorate so my concept for this one is that i wanted to do just all of these trees around the like outside of the spread and i'm gonna fill up the sidebar with them and then when we get to the outskirts i'm just gonna start like cropping them into little pieces and I'd like to put some quotes in there. Um, and I'm thinking the quotes might fit better into the body of the spread, but I can't quite decide. And maybe I'll need a third sheet of these. And maybe I'll need an X-Acto knife. That's also something that might be useful for this kind of spread. I've done this before. And we can just like pre-cut this. I've done this kind of spread before. And I think it turns out really well, especially when you have a bunch of like smaller stickers that you'd like to use. It's just kind of like filling up the sidebar, filling up the margins. Something like this is just going to get like 
put up there. I'm going to white out where it says notes because I don't want that there. And now I'm just going to keep going with the stickers. I'm going to save the snowflakes for last because I'd like to use them to fill up any empty space that I end up with. And I think I'm going to have a better eye for the empty space once I get the trees in place. And some of these are a little bit smaller than other ones of these, and I, I like them that way, just to give a little variation. If you wanted to, like, cluster a whole bunch of them, they're not all the same height. For this one, I'm just going to cut it, like, directly in half, trying to create a little bit of variation in how much they go off the page, etc. And it's creating, like, a little forest, and I like that. Um... I don't want it to be directly across from the one that I just like cut in half. So I'm gonna peel up the smaller fragment and this one can find a new home in just like a minute. Placing this one all the way up at the top. And then, you know, I'll just stick this like, we'll go right down here. It's far enough away from the original tree I cut it off of. So I can just place it right there. I do want a quote in the sidebar, so I'm gonna pick something that'll fit in that space. And I'm thinking cozy vibes only just because it's gonna be fully within the sidebar. And I don't want anything that like kind of pokes into the boxes just because the trees are gonna stay like really strict within these lines. So I don't want anything that kind of disrupts from that. So cozy vibes only is gonna go right here. Just right in line with the tab. I think that looks pretty good. It's also going to be interesting to combine the snowflakes between these two sheets because they're printed on clear on one and paper on the other. I'm going to add this tree in. I'm not like a huge fan of the fact that it's like almost in line with that one, but it'll have to be. And then we're going to go in with the snowflakes and just fill up some of that empty space. And I can do the same thing with like cutting the snowflakes so that they fit into the areas I have left a little bit better. So like this one down here can just go right there. And now I have like two little pieces where I can put one off the side of the, or off the other side of the spread. And then I'll take this one and fill in that larger gap where I'm not gonna be able to fit a tree, but I can definitely fit a snowflake there's a lot of blue up at the top of the page, so I'm going to fill it in with like some more green and some more pink. Just like this, and I don't want to cover up where it says January. I would like that to just stay there. And then this one is going to get cut off the side of the page too. And I still need to trim this tree as well, so I can do that. And when I'm doing a spread like this, I like to save every little bit of sticker because they're going to come in useful when I get into the smaller areas. So like the bottom margin, that kind of thing. And for something like this, um, this little tree scrap that I know I cut off the left side of a tree. When I get into these smaller areas, I don't necessarily care as much which direction it's facing because it's just like a little pop of color here. It's not like a full piece of tree. And I'm just going to start kind of like filling this in. And I can do this like a number of ways. I can start with like the very tip top of the tree or once that's cut off, I could do like little cross sections of it. Or if I wanted to cut like the bottom piece of the tree off, I could have, we'll try that. Like I wanted to cut it like that. I can have it like sticking down this direction. So we're really just gonna make use of what's left of this tree. And I don't think it's going to completely fill that space up there. So this one's just going to get used right down in that bottom margin. And I'm trying to space it out enough so that it's not just like the same tree over and over again. A piece like this that 
isn't going to be tall enough to fill any of those margins. I'm going to stick it back on the sheet just in case I need to like add in a little bit of something later on down the line. So I've got kind of checkpoints going between that tree. Let's see. I'm going to start at the bottom of this one because I started at the top of the other one. So hopefully that'll provide a little bit of contrast between the two. And this will also be like a nice space to fit some snowflakes because they're a little bit smaller than the trees. Haven't quite decided what I want to do with the spines of the pages. Do I want to put trees down the spines of the pages or do I want to just like, I don't know. I think that could look really good. Probably means that I'm going to need an X-Acto knife and another sheet of these, but I don't think I'm going to have a problem getting either of those things. So let's take a stab at it. And I'm going to cut them apart at the end. So for now, they're just going to stay connected. This final like full tree that I've got, I'm going to stick it between the two. Well, I think these trees fit pretty well in between like this set of boxes and this set of boxes. So I'm going to just like place them just stacked vertically. I'm not going to try to go like off to the sides or anything like that. We're just going to put them right on top of each other. And I might have um, skewed this a little bit so the disc punches are like not exactly in line, but that's not the end of the world for me. I've got blue, I've got pink. We're going to try one of the green ones right above that. And then I'll go with like this really light blue one with the darker blue. This one might be a little too wide for that space though. Um, I'll try this one. This one's a little bit smaller than the other. And I won't have to cut as much off the top of that one, so I think that'll look good. I'm going to start just filling in more space with this last tree that I pulled. January is, like, it's weird to be in January because I feel like now I'm supposed to be accomplishing all of these goals. And I am doing some more goal planning. I started using the Moxie Life inserts in my daily setup. I printed them off of their printable library. They have a lot of really great free resources online and I was able to kind of just customize them to what I needed them to be rather than like just buying a planner and dealing with whatever they thought was the best goal setting layout. And that's the thing I do like about the printable library is there were like a lot of options and I could just print as much or as little as I needed. I decided to like change up the way that I used the inserts. So I'm using like a set of the monthly goal pages for the week in their like regular companion planner where it's um, like pre-printed goal, goal setting sheets. Their monthly is a two page spread and their daily is just like a single page spread for goal setting. And I decided I liked the two page spread a little bit better. I write pretty big so I've I felt like eh, if I'm going to be goal setting, I probably should have like enough room to just like write everything out for the week. So I just printed a bunch of the monthlies and I just changed the text at the top that said monthly to just be the numbers for the date range. If you want to see my like daily planner setup, there is a video already on my channel of that. It's a little bit longer, but I did kind of section it out for the different like facets of the video. So you can click ahead to the different time markers and like, if you wanna see the goal setting setup, you can click on whatever timestamp. And if you wanna see the daily setup, you can click on whatever timestamp, etc. But this is to say, if you wanna see how I navigated the goal setting planner, you can check out that video that's already on the channel. I don't want the trunk of this one to dip down into the boxes. So I just put it up a little bit higher and I'm going to trim off any excess. This takes a little bit more time than like just clustering a few stickers and going on with your day. But I, I like the end result and I think it's fun to do every once in a while. 
because it gives just a different visual effect than like a normal planner spread. It's like this all over pattern, like where the boxes are kind of like their own thing. And then the backdrop of all the different stickers. I'm going to work a little bit on this like side area, which is, I think this little stretch of planner spread is always the trickiest for me when I'm planning this way. Because it's like a mini sidebar when you really think about it. It's the same kind of thing. It's like off to the side of the like boxes, but you really cannot do as much with it because it is just like such a weird space to work with. I've got this. And I said I wasn't gonna like put them in here. I don't think I'm going to because I'm gonna get some weird layering going on when I do that, but I think it'll be, oh, well then it's like cut off weird there. I'm gonna save this. Not sure if I need it or not. And I've also run out of green stickers. There's not like a whole lot of green trees on this sheet because when I was making it, I was like, oh, well, regular trees are green, so maybe the trees on this sheet just should be like mostly blue and pink. And when you combine it with the other sheets in the set or like in the collection, you can bring out a lot more green tones, like the florals have some green in them, etc. Had to jump ahead for a second because my neighbor's car alarm was going off again. Um, they don't charge the battery in their car or they just have like a kind of faulty battery in their car. So the car alarm goes off a minimum of I would say two times a day and you know at least right now it's like 9 a.m most people are awake but when it goes off like 2 a.m 4 a.m like and they just don't they don't do anything about it and I think they probably live far enough away from their car where it doesn't bother them but it bothers everyone else on this side of the building it's just constant and people are constantly leaving notes on this car like you need to fix your car alarm because it wakes me up at night. That car alarm frequently wakes me up at night and it's just annoying. So had to pause the video for just a second and just keep going with the stickers, but I think that'll help cut back on this being a super long video anyway. So not the end of the world, but a little irritating. And I'm adding in just a bunch of these like snowflakes to fill in some of the spaces that are looking a little empty. I don't think I'm gonna need to print out another sheet of trees. And we can add in more of this green color through the snowflakes too. So on this like very slim area over here, if I add in like a little bit of green snowflake that should help bring the colors out to the edges. I know I'm gonna need to trim up some like spots at the end, but that can wait for a minute. And I'm, for the most part, I'm just pre-cutting these so that I can just place them along the edges. That's what we're really doing here is just filling in every last little bit. And like I would, in an ideal world, I'd be thinking about, oh, this area down here doesn't have a lot of pink. Maybe I should add in some pink snowflakes, but it's not, it's not like too pressing. I think they just look good as kind of this all over pattern of trees. There's a lot of green up here by January, but I think that's where that one's gonna live. Add in a little bit of navy blue with this snowflake right there. This is all kind of just like scraps that didn't fit into any particular spot. And I haven't even used the clear snowflakes. So th these are just the paper ones, which I think works out well because the clear stickers and the paper stickers just have ever so slightly different saturation. Like the ink just prints differently on the paper than it does on the clear. So they will be slightly different colors when you place them on the page if you're doing like mix and match between clear and paper stickers. So I like being a little bit more consistent and not just having like one clear snowflake over here and then the rest being paper. <laughs> And I don't think it would be like the end of the world if I took the clear snowflakes and like put them into the boxes, but 
for all of the ones that are around the edges, we're gonna stick with those paper stickers. I think this filled out a lot better than I thought it was going to. I was fully expecting to need like a third sheet of these, but it works out well with just, just the two. And I'm just gonna use all the snowflakes that I have on the paper sheets because I have them and I don't think I'm gonna use these scraps for anything else. I think they're just gonna be done when this video is done. This last snowflake is probably going to fill in. Let's see, we'll go right over here by Cozy Vibes Only because there's not a whole lot on the January tab. It pokes into January a little bit so you might be able to see it when I close the planner pages, but I don't think that's the end of the world. I'm gonna flip back to the quotes because I only placed one and I want something that'll go down here. I'm looking for like a longer quote. I'm thinking let it snow will be kind of cute. I know I'm sticking with mainly the same like font. There's three different fonts on this sheet, but I think this one fits well with kind of what I'm doing today. So let it snow is gonna go down there. The other one in this font is Hot Cocoa and Fuzzy Socks, and I don't know where that's going to go because I don't know where the work shifts are going to go. Um, I mean, I could probably just take, like, a stab at it. If I'm putting the work shifts in the bottom of the boxes, I could just stick it, like, up at the top of the boxes and something like this. I don't predict, like... We could do, like, right here because I, I think... Even this Wednesday and Thursday, I probably won't have a whole lot going on during the day. So we'll put that right there. Now I'm going to take the chance just to tidy up the edges and cut these apart so that I can repunch them for the, for the discs. Alrighty, back on the discs. I think this is going to get a little bit more interesting, like visually, once I fill out the rest of the month. But I, I need to make the plans for the month first. I really like the border of this, and I think that was probably the right decision, especially because so much of January is unknown right now. I didn't want to start making clusters in the middle of the spread and, like, then end up with plans on those days. So this is, like, a nice, like, doesn't interfere with, like, the potential of more plans. That was very convoluted. Um, but... I like the way this turned out. This blue, I just looked at the camera, and this blue is showing up a lot more vibrant on the screen than I think it does in person. In person, it's more like a royal blue or like a navy. So it's not nearly as vibrant in person, but the camera is picking up on it for some weird reason, just, just so you know. It took a while to put the decorative stuff together, but I am very happy with it. So I'm going to call this done and just continue to fill it out as the month goes on. It was a lifesaver for me in December. It really helped me put together my weekly spreads and just like have a concept of what was coming up like in the next week. So I'm going to continue with that into 2023. I think that's a good practice to put into place. I wasn't doing a whole lot with my monthlies like last last year up until December. So we're going to start the year out on a good foot here. And here you have it. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans, where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning.